Hello, class. Can you guys hear me? Ah, can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay, good, good. Oh, um, okay, good. Um, I'm having. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Oh, man. Okay, I'm having problems there with my Zoom. I can't see the, the bottom. Um, the bottom bar, so I don't know. I won't. I don't know if I'm going to be able to share. We'll have to see. Okay. Well, anyways, guys, welcome. How are you today? How has your day been? We're in the middle of the week. We're almost. We're halfway. Yay! <laughs> All right. Um, how was your How was your day today at work? Busy, teacher. So busy. Busy? Yes. As always. As always, huh? I see. I see. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, well, How you? yeah, my day was very busy too. Yeah, I, I've got to say, yeah, it was pretty busy. But, um, you know, that's, that's life. <laughs> Uh, the uh, the good thing is that there's only two more days left of um, of work, and then the weekend. <laughs> so that'll be nice. <laughs> yuppie. <laughs> yeah, yuppie, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, just give me a moment. My computer is really slow right now, so I haven't been able to get my attendance. How are you guys doing with the? Um, with the platform. How are you guys doing with that? Uh, I I made two two of the of the exercises mm -hmm. or two unit. Oh okay. Okay, good. So you did unit one and unit two? Maybe 1.1 1 .1 and 1.3, maybe. Oh. I don't remember exactly. Okay, okay. All right. Um, that's good. That's good. Excellent. Um, okay. Any problems, any questions you want to ask? The the part that you say yesterday about the the copy and paste the the text yeah to to make a sentence right that part uh, I have some kind of problem okay what problem but, do you have uh, maybe is is the order but. I I have three to, to five. Three three or, or five. Three or five what? Uh, I complete three of the five sentence. Oh, okay. Um okay. Um so the other two you don't understand they're not correct or what's going on uh, maybe i have to to check my answer because i think the spaced count in the in the answer the yes. bond the yes absolutely that is the reason why i was telling you guys to uh copy and paste because sometimes um, a little space can make the difference. Okay, so that's why that's why I was telling you guys to to 
um, be careful with that. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. All right. Um, any other questions that you guys have? No, at the moment, no. Nothing. Uh, at the I don't have any questions, but I want to say something. Okay. And my name is Rocio Lopez, and this is my my first day here because oh. I couldn't be in this class yesterday and Monday. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Okay. Welcome, <laughs> uh, Rocio Veronica. What What do you prefer to be called, Rocio or Veronica? Rocio. Rocio. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Great. <laughs> Well, welcome to our class, um, Rocio. Thank you so much. Yes, it's and it's a pleasure to finally meet you. <laughs> yes, it's a pleasure to meet you too. Uh, I'm glad that you were able to connect today. Okay, <laughs> okay good, good. Um, Rocio, have you been able to get into the platform? Yes, indeed. Um, I watched the video uh, today for the lesson one and two. So, oh. no, one and you do, I, I, I can search the lesson two because it doesn't in the, it, in the platform. It is it, lesson two, but lesson one is in the, pla it, in the platform. Okay, um, you, there are two ways you can see the video. One is through the mm -hmm. platform, the other mm -hmm. one is through the list on the, the YouTube. YouTube, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. so one of those two you can use. So yeah, Okay. hopefully that, that helps you. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right, guys, um, are we ready? Yes, no? Yes, yes, we're ready. All right, so we're gonna start with our attendance. Um, so we're gonna start with Annie. Present teacher. Okay, well, very good. Um, Ana Maria? Yes, I'm here. Okay, welcome. This is my first, ah, thank you. This is also my first class to be yes, exactly. here in the class. Welcome. So nice to meet you, everyone. It's nice to meet you too. Uh, do you prefer to be called um, Ana, Ana uh, Maria or Ana Maria? Eddie. Ana Maria is okay. Ana Maria. Ana Maria is okay. Okay, wonderful. Very good. Uh, Ana Maria. Oh, I have a sub. Um, I wanted to ask yes. do you know how to change your name in in Zoom? Do you know how to do that? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes, I can do that. Okay, no. wonderful. Because I need you to change your name so that it's your complete okay. name. Okay, so should say your complete name just like it is in the Dewey. So I should say Ana Maria Hernandez Cordova. Okay, so if you could do that favor, that would be wonderful. Oh, perfect. I love right. you. Okay, great. Okay, let's continue then. Um, Carolina? Present teacher. Okay, good, good. Um, Emily? Present. Okay, welcome. Um, Hazel? Hazel? No, no Hazel. Okay. Uh, what about uh, Joanna? Joanna? No? Okay. Uh, Jorge? Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Jorge. Thank you. Karina? Present. Welcome, Karina. Harla? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Welcome. Thank you so much. Okay, um, just give me a moment. Um, 
Okay, um, Kevin. Kevin, Kevin Santiago. No. Okay, Linda. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Linda. Uh, Marlene. <laughs> Present. Welcome, Marlene. And Miguel. Miguel. Miguel's not here. Okay. Um, Nelson. Present. Nelson. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Welcome, Nelson. Uh, You're welcome. Norma. Present the chair. Welcome, Norma. Thank you. Okay. Um, and uh, Olga. Present. Okay. Welcome, Olga. Rocio. Present. Okay. Welcome, Rocio. Thank you. And uh, Rosa, sorry, um, Beatrice. Okay, welcome, Beatrice. Um, Suleima Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Suleima. And uh, Tatiana. Present teacher. Thank you. And Nelson A. Present teacher. Welcome, Nelson. Is Omar here? Present. Welcome, Omar. Suleima Melgar. Suleima Melgar. Okay. And Jose Rodrigo. Jose Rodrigo. Okay, all right, so I'm just going to mention the names of the people that I didn't hear just to make sure that I haven't missed anybody. I did not hear uh, Hazel, Joanna, Kevin Santiago. Present teacher, Joanna Valencia. Oh, okay. Okay, welcome, Joanna. Thank you. And I didn't hear Miguel, eh, Sulema Melgar, and Jose Rodrigo, right? Everybody else is here, right? Yeah? Okay. All right, guys. Um, so we're going to start uh, with our, our class. Uh, please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint, but you're going to give me a little moment because my Zoom is not working very well. Okay. All right. Can you see my PowerPoint? No, yet. Not yet? Okay, you will. Okay. Okay. I can see it. Okay, okay. good. Okay, so here we go. So our uh, today's class is about how to use would rather. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. It's the intermediate three. It's class number three. Okay. Uh, so do you remember this activity from yesterday? that you were you were going to put a check next to the words that were new for you right we saw the word appeal growth differentiate discontinue withdraw take off demand buy out feature and saturation do you remember that yes teacher okay good so what we're going to do right now is um i'm going to remember i asked you to do for homework a sentence for each word that was new for you. So you were going to create a new sentence. So what I'm gonna ask you to do now is you're gonna be working in groups of three and you're gonna be sharing the sentences with your group, okay? 
Do we understand what to do? Yes. Just. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, great. In that case, I'm going to stop sharing. And I'm going to, oh my goodness, it's really difficult. Actually, I'm going to start sharing again because it's the only way I can see the breakout rooms. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're going to give you about eight minutes to share. Well, actually, no, I think that's too long. Let's give you six minutes. Six minutes, I think. We're gonna put you in groups of three. So um, if you give you six minutes, that's about two minutes for, for each one of you to share your sentences. And while you are listening to your classmates um, uh, share their sentences, make sure that they are using it correctly. Okay, you guys already know the meaning of the words. So make sure that they are using it correctly. All right, so here okay. we go. Good night. Hello, Hazel. Um, uh, no le sale ahí para poder ingresar al grupo? Oh, no, es que fíjese que me conecta y me desconecta. Ah, y ya actualizas. Uh, actualiz Ajá, pero ahorita sí. Uh, ya actualizó. Sí, yo había ingresado en el grupo. Sí, cuando a pasar lista usted estaba, creo que le pasó a Ana María Córdoba cuando me desconecté, pero aquí en la calle ya encuentro señal. Ok, va, entonces le voy a mover ahí a otro grupo. Entonces, ahí mi compañero fue tuvo eso. Entonces, bueno, miremos entonces la primera. Dice Apil, Apil, no, Apil. 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 Vamos a ver. Apil. Vamos a. Esto es apelación, apil. Apil la tengo como eh, gustar, atraer. Apil. Guys. Gustar. Hello. Um, you were supposed to just share your 
your sentences? You didn't yes. sentences? It's a sentence. Uh -huh. Teacher, eh, bueno, en mi caso no he hecho las oraciones, no he tenido tiempo para poder hacerlas. Entonces, comentaba eso a mi compañero ahorita. Ok. Ok. Bueno. All right. ¿Cuántos minutos, tío? One hour. I don't know. I think 10 minutes. No, oh, 10 minutes. But right now, um, we discuss about the sentences with the with the word with the word um she teach yesterday do you remember uh this is the the, the homework you guys remember the homework yes yes okay so all you gotta do is share your sentences from the homework Okay. All the sentences? Yep. <laughs> okay. Who is a star? No, no, please. I can't just me. And start um, with appeal. I don't know if, if it's okay, but I write his appeals to the judges. Is that correct, teacher? Trace here. Sorry, what was the question? Is correct this sentence. Um, he looks appeals to the judges. His what appeals to the judges? Yes. Sorry, I didn't understand. His what? He, he looks. His he looks. Looks. Mm -hmm. His looks appeals. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, very good. Okay, we um I think the second is the is growth, right? And I write there has been a rapid acceleration in the growth of petroleum industry. It's okay. el archivo ay no que estrés sí, pero que se cambiaría que se cambiaría en el archivo yo si sí lo he podido yo lo he abierto es que lo que pasa es que eh, ay no sé porque mi máquina está loca ya 
yo lo hice en PowerPoint, pero a la hora de abrirlo me aparece como que fuera un texto corrido, cosa que no, pues no debería de, de ser, debería de aparecerme en PowerPoint, pero yo no sé si porque la máquina allá al guardarlo me lo guardó uh -huh. eh, con una extensión que dice PPTX. Sí, lo debe guardar como una versión actual. Y su Office es una versión antigua, 2003, y probablemente ah. lo guardó en 2010, Ajá. 2016. Ajá, sí, yo creo que yo creo que por ahí anda el, el, el problema, de que lo he guardado de esa forma. Sí, Entonces, pero en estos momentos, ¿verdad Carla? Que estamos viendo lo de... La homework de... Sí, había una de las sentences with the words with the words we learned yesterday appeal withdraw take off uh, buy out mm -hmm. we need to discuss uh, Yes. Lo, eh, lo abre solo como un texto creo que lo vamos a tener que leer así nada más porque bueno yo traté de solventar haciendo eso creyendo que iba a solventar y, y por gusto no no logré okay. Is a company that grown? Repeat, please. Um, Taka is a company that offers growth. Taca, Erlen. Taca, ajá. Hay que ver si hay writing. I create one. There is uh, the employers has been demanding their company because they have a. I could be a thing. Employers has been demanding their company because they have paid. They haven't paid. Um, it's like. Oh, okay. Um, I, copy. I think it's, if, if the teacher asks, I, I will. <laughs> I will answer. Do you guys have any questions? Uh, yes. <laughs> I would like to know what the meaning buy out. Buy out. Yes. Um, buy out means um, that you 
acquire something um, so that no one else can have it. Like you, you buy it, um, like for example, shares, the shares in a company. You buy them, you acquire them, so you have the majority and no one, and you can control it. Uh, that... Could you repeat again? I didn't understand, yes. Okay, in a company, there yes. are shares. Do you understand shares? Yes, yes. Yes, okay. Uh, wh what is shares in Spanish? Do you, do you know shares and shares? Uh, sí, yeah. No. Uh, acciones. Oh, yeah. So in a company, there are shares, okay? So sometimes you can oh, buy, you can buy um, like the majority of the, of, the, of the shares to be able to control so that no one else can control it. Only. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's buy out. Because, ah, yeah, because I, I buy out. Ah, yeah, I understand. <laughs> All right. Thank, thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, for a pill, for example, do you compare a pill to the customers of Pollo Campestre? Could you repeat again? Okay. Um, do you compare a pill to the... Saturation. With another word. What about Do you understand the meaning? What word? Withdraw. 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 Retirar, retractarse, remover. I remember that you said the example of the ATM, right? I'm looking for example of buyout, but I don't understand the sentence. What does the sentence say? Um, is I took a buyout for uh, five thousand. I I took a bio for five thousand. Mm -hmm. Where did you find that? 
I was looking for examples, for examples because I I I didn't know how to how to make the sentence with that word. So I look for examples. So the example says, eh, I took a buyout for five thousand, but I don't understand what is what is the meaning or. One buyout after another is another sentence. We can use it, for example, when we talk about a buildings, could be, or a house. I buy our new house, maybe. Um, okay, basically, Buy out means to buy something, but um, to buy it to control, to have like the, um, to, to win over other people. Okay. Like, um, so that other people cannot have what you have. Okay. Um, to give you an example. Let's say, um, okay, let's say that you are selling a house. Oh, no, no, or maybe no. Let's say that you are buying a house, okay? And the house has many different people that are interested in the house, okay? So, um, and each person is offering money. And they say, okay, I'm, I, I will offer this much money and this much money. And then in the end, you offer $2,000 more than the other people. And the person says, okay, the house is yours. So you bought out the other people. It means you bought the house, but because you were able to, um, you paid more. More, pay more money or yeah. pay down another another person yeah so that you were able to get what other people will not get okay it's like a subasta in spanish no 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 it's it, that's just an example the word buy out means to be able to buy something so that you are in control other people will not be able to have what you have I have an example. It says the TV channel found that they have been outbought by the rights to the show. By the outrights to the what? The rights of the show. Of the show. Okay. Uh huh. So um, yeah. So in that case, it means that um, only one channel can. Uh -huh. have the exclusive yes I don't know how yeah exactly okay. so they are in control mm -hmm. yeah that's kind of the idea okay all right okay I'm going to return everybody to the main room um in a moment okay so I'll see you guys there thank you okay teacher thank you you're welcome Okay, all right, guys. Um, so um, I noticed some some of you were having problems with this activity, but I believe that it was because we didn't actually do the exercises. Am I correct? 
or or did you do the exercise and then you still have were having problems with it? Were you having problems with it? Like did did you understand how to make the sentences? Um, yeah, I have some problems, teacher, because when I was looking for the definition, it was a little bit different than, than the information, information that you you used yesterday. That was the, the, the problem for me. Okay, well, like like what? What what was different? Uh, when I was looking, for example. For example, uh, appeal, it was like, a, it is like a something legal, uh, not for attraction. Right, um, yes. Remember that in, in like in any language, some words may have more than one meaning, right? I know. So in this case, um, in the legal sense, yes. Uh, it's like when you say in Spanish, apelar, right? So yes, that is correct. Legally, uh, in, in a better said, in, in the legal context, yes, it means apelar and that's fine. But because right now, we, what we're studying right now is not about legal things. Uh, what we're studying right now is about, um, it, ugh, so, sorry guys, I forgot. Um, uh, it, we're studying about um, the product um, life. life cycle. Yeah. Exactly, product life cycle. So, because we're, ta we're, we're, we're talking about the product life cycle, then the context cannot be apelar. It has to be a different context. And in this case, it means to appeal means to make something be attractive. Okay, in this context. Okay, so you just you you have to adjust the context. See what what makes more sense. Okay. All right. Any other questions? No. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Please excuse me. No, I'm deaf. Stand. Uh, what part? Lo último que explicó, no lo entendí. Okay, appeal has different meanings. In the legal context, it means, appeal means to, um, a, to basically ask for another review of the case. That's appeal, right? Like in Spanish, apelar, right? So you're asking, you're, you're, you are uh, making a request to, for the case to be active again. That's appeal. But in this case, we're not talking about anything legal. So that is not the correct um, definition. In this case, appeal means to make something attractive because we are talking about the product life cycle. So in a product life cycle, we want to make a product attractive to a certain group of people so that they buy it or a service. So you wanna make it attractive so that people want to have it. So that's what it means. Appeal means in this case, to make something be attractive or yeah, make like bring people in. That's what it means, appeal. Does that make sense, Carolina? Thank you, teacher. Jeff. Yes, are you sure? Uh, teacher, yes. Shoes can be appeal. Um, it, in this case, it's uh, it's a verb. Okay, it's a verb. So, um. Uh, the shoes can appeal to teenagers, for example, or the shoes can appeal to, um, you know, 
to mothers, to modern day mothers, right? But the, the appeal is just for people. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think, yeah, because, um, well, you could, yeah, um, you could maybe do it like, like you can appeal to an animal, but it's not most of the time you're appealing because you want to make something attractive to another person. Teacher, um, can you use this word in a sentence, for example, to understand that? Um, we need to change the colors of this product because we want to appeal to children and children like color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, sorry. A pill can be a noun or just a, a verb? No, it's a in this it's a it's a verb to appeal. Okay. And we can make it an adjective by saying appealing. That would be an adjective. Okay. Does that make sense? Anything else that you guys want to ask about? Uh, yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay, it's clear. All right. So basically, appeal, you can say that it's in this context, this means atraer. Right? Atraer, you want to make. ¿Cómo se atrae? Haciendo algo, haciendo que algo se mire atractivo. Uh, apetitoso, lo que sea, para poder atraer. Okay? Does that make sense? That makes sense. Okay. Good. Excellent. All right. Anything else? Maybe you can help me with the word take off. I make a sentence, but I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, what is your sentence? I was scared when the plane take off the sky. Took off. Yes. When the took plane off. took off because it's in the past. Took right? off. Yes. The the ver the the passive take is took. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? No? Okay. No. All right. We're going to continue, guys, then. Um, okay. Uh, we also did this activity yesterday. It says in small group, uh, select a product known by everyone in your team. Prepare a presentation to explain the stages of the product life cycle in your words. And you had this to help you, right? To guide you. Okay. Uh, did we all finish this activity? Did we finish? Yes, no, maybe? Yes, teacher. Yes, you finished? Yes. Okay, anybody need more time? Yes, teacher. Y yes, you need more time or yes, you're finished? I'm finished. You're finished? Any any groups need more time? Okay, all right. In that case, we're going to start. Um, we're going to start with uh, group number one uh, from yesterday. And according to what I have, group number one was uh, Ros. Sorry, Beat Beatrice and Tatiana. Was there anybody else in your group? Yes, there was another person, but I don't know who, who was. Tatiana, who was in your group? It was Sulma, I think, but I was Suleyma. having trouble. Sulema, Sulema, sorry. Uh, 
but the other person I don't remember. There were four of you. Mm, yes, okay. but. Who was in the group with Tatiana? Tatiana is, I... is a member of my group with Rosa. Okay, so Hazel, you were in that group? Yes? Okay. All right. Well, we're ready for you guys, you girls. Uh, if preferably, I would love to hear um, all of you talking a little bit, but I would like to hear every one of you. Okay. All right. Go for it. As we say in English, we are all ears. Somos todos oídos. Okay, I can start. Uh, which was biggest that the all the hamburgers that they offer? So we were uh, thinking about uh, how the restaurant comes in El Salvador, and we remember that the restaurant is in El Salvador before the Civil War. So has a lot of time in, in this country, and. The biggest name was due to its strategy that say they would offer the biggest hamburger in the salvo. So. I'm here. Okay. Uh, Hazel, do, are you having trouble with your um, camera? Uh, <laughs> I can't turn on the camera because I am uh, down for the rain right now. Oh. Because I don't have uh, more sign of, <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. All right, go for it then, Hazel. We're listening. Yes, but <laughs> I'm here. Okay, you're gonna continue with the presentation? Yes. Okay. With, with Rosa and Tatiana, we talk about, uh, I think that Rosa is so you that we, we talk about the biggest. <clears throat> My God, if we No, we're listening to you. Um, okay, is that it or is there anything else? There are more teachers, but I don't know what why they are going. Okay, Tatiana, uh, you want to add? Well, I think because Hazel, I think is having problems there with the connection. You want to continue? Yeah, um, well, I had some troubles with the internet yesterday. I just been, I think five minutes, but we were talking about the biggest. Um, one of the things I, we were talking about is biggest uh, close the doors about the, I think uh, six or eight years ago. And they, after that, they start again to the, with the product. So I think now they are, they have a more, a more, demand demand than uh, a few years ago. Uh, I think that is important because uh, they launch again the, the, the brand. So I think it, it's a good, it's a good product. That's all. Okay, very good. 
Okay, so is that it, or do you were were you going to add something else? Okay. I think that she had a problem with her internet, so she's going to connect later. Yeah. But um, but down here. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. You too. Right now. It's okay. okay. No the worries. thing is that she's down the rain. Yeah, it's okay. No worries. No worries. Okay, let's go on to. I can, let's actually. I can, uh, so my person. Sorry, Hazel. Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay. I want to add something information about uh, exposition with my team. Okay. Like uh, when he's talking about in Tatiana, yes, biggest has to more demand at one out what ninety seventy four years, I think, because <clears throat> is this biggest is this one of the pioneers restaurant the of fast food of the salvador but when burger king and when this is coming to el salvador biggest unfortunately it, your demand is is low and right now because no don't have some more demand for the people Okay, from people, yes, very good, excellent. All right, very good girls, good job. Okay, let's move on to group number two, uh, which is uh, Emily, Jorge, Karina, and Miguel. Uh, okay, teacher, if you, can I share my, my screen? Of course. Could you see the presentation? Yes, we can. Yes, yes, we can. Uh, maybe I want to, to start to okay. speak about the earphone wireless. That is the topic that we choose to, to explain. OK, um, in the very store, we talk about the introduction of the of the this product to the market and we we write when the product was introduced to the market the price was higher than the normal earphones at this moment at that moment there's not many competitors because it's new and it's a technological product so that is the that is why the product was higher price and do you remember some that's about the majority of the product and this product is essential for young people who feel comfortable using them and people wants to buy some product with feature like durability comfort etc the sounds comfortable to ears on the store that are some of the characteristics we think that are important to the sales of these products. Okay. Uh, then the the next question is the did the product decline? Uh, we we like like a team decide some kind of of models are declined because uh, they are older. And people don't want to have a device with that are biggest than the the new ones, and maybe for the the weight and the quality that this device could be could be present for the the people. Uh, maybe uh, because the the new products and the innovation 
that they represent uh, this product could be declined, but just the model because uh, airphone wireless is is in the top right now. Uh, maybe for the next one, I think is Emily Connect, and they can can speak some for for try to explain the that topic. Okay, um, we decide to to talk about this because we consider that everybody has a pair of earphones at least, or we need to use it to listen to music. In this case for us is taking classes and something like that. And um, well, we decide that maybe um, if we talk about the first model that appears, uh, maybe it will be declined because uh, new models are coming uh, with more technology and so on. For that reason, um, the oldest or the older uh, products can be declined. I, I, I think Miguel, Miguel is not here, then it's over. <laughs> okay, and about okay about the availability that are easy to buy, we can uh, find them in a lot of types of stores. Anita. Okay. Very good, bravo. Excellent, excellent. Okay. All right, let's move on to group number three, uh, which is um, Ani, Nelson A, and Norma. I don't know if there was anybody else with you. Oh, wait a second. Before we start, um, let's um, take attendance, okay? Because um, it's that time already. So just just um, group number three, just give me a second. We're gonna be taking the attendance beforehand. Okay. All right, so Ani? Present teacher. Great. Um, Ana Maria? Present. Okay. Uh, Carolina? Present. Great. Uh, Emily? Present. Great. Um, Hazel? Um. Hazel? She, she, she left the meeting because uh, she has a, a lot of trouble with her internet. Yeah, yeah I imagine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Joanna? Present teacher. Great. Jorge? Present teacher. Excellent. Carla? Present teacher. Great. Um, Karina? Present. Uh, great. Um, Kevin Santiago? Kevin Santiago? Um, Linda? Present teacher. Great, uh, Marlene. Present teacher. Great, Miguel. Miguel. Okay, uh, Nelson G. Nelson G. Yes, sir. Okay, very good. Um, Norma. Present teacher. Great, Olga. Present. Great. Uh, Rocio? Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Beatriz? Present. Great. So, um, Suleima Rodriguez? Present. Good. Um, Tatiana? Present teacher. Okay, great. Nelson A? Present teacher. Great. Uh, Omar? Present. 
afraid. Suleima Melgar. And Jose Rodrigo. Okay, welcome, Jose. Thank you. Uh, do you know Jose or Rodrigo? Rodrigo, it's okay. Okay, Rodrigo. Okay, welcome, Rodrigo. Are you trying to see the camera? No, no, no. Wait. Okay, all right. So now I can see a little bit better. <laughs> Okay, great. Thank you. All right. Okay. All right, guys. Um, so we're going to continue um, group number three, right? We said group number three was um, Annie, Nelson A, and Norma. Okay, we're ready when you are. Okay. Normita. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can uh, share the presentation, Anne. Yo no la iba a presentar. O solo lo decimos. No, no puedo, puedo yo presentar. Oh, qué mala suerte. Sí, yo no puedo. Okay. Okay. Yes, no se ve, solo el, la imagen del iPod. Okay. Okay. Good evening, teacher and classmates. Uh, no, group number three is our product is iPod. Is um, Market introduction. In 21, Apple launched the iPod, a totally innovative product for the consumer becoming one of its main source in, on income. Next. Nelson? Okay. okay. Apple modified its product to innovate it several times, then first expanding its life cycle and expanding its mar market, making the iPod one of the most popular icons of the time. That's to the marketing campaign executed by Apple. Maturity, the maturity of this product coming uh, 20 or nine. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. When new variants were launched, meeting the needs of consumers. Declined. It was in 2017 that the company discontinued the maturity of most of its products, leaving only dogs that play in the streaming music. Docs marking the remix on the iPhone Nano, iPhone 12, I, and iPhone Classic. Thank you. Only that, Thank teacher. You. Thank you. All right, excellent. Very good job. Very, very good job. Okay, next is our group number four which is uh, composed of Carolina, Carla, and Omar. Okay, Carla.
हाय करला सर सर Good night, everybody. Um, today I will talk about uh, Papa John's Pizza. Um, in 1984, Papa John's opened its doors with one goal in mind: better pizza. We knew that with better ingredients, we will make better pizzas. Its objective and the promise of better ingredients, better pizza stands to this day and arrived in El Salvador around 2017. This is a good product, and the growth of the company was very high. Due to the quality of their product, fresh and quality ingredients, this open opportunities for them to expand their brand um, throughout the country. Um, after several branches were open and sales were good, but over time competition from new brands has affected sales because people prefer to buy cheaper products instead of quality. The product exists in the market still, but they are not the same still. Papa John entered of country at the end of 2017 with a variety of pizza with different ingredients, a new option for Salvadorian. Papa John has different promotion such a uh, summer or offer super market also has home delivery deliveries in different departments um how core belief is simple if you take care of people and give them your best to work you will make superior superior quality pizzas. This is what lets use to invest more than others in our efforts to always offer superior pizza and service. The more you know about our ingredients, the more informed you will be when choosing your Pizza. Thank you for your attention. Finish. All right. Very good. Excellent. Um, okay. All right. Let's continue. The last group is group number five. And that group is composed of Joanna, Nelson G, and Olga. I don't know if there was anybody else. Okay, he said, I'm trying the presentation. I'm trying to show. Okay. And my team and I, we talk about the Coca-Cola drink and this product has been maintained over time with innovation, marketing and customer acceptance. The product is the Coca-Cola. Next. Okay, elaboration. The water treatment, elaboration or the simple flour, elaboration of the laboratory uh, syrup, elaboration of the finisher, the drain, packing process, process, cell surgeon, it tell say. Okay, next. Okay. 
Ok. Jim Goro. We remember the Coca-Cola was introduced for TV on radio. Number two, Coca-Cola was the first company which introduced bubble bus. Number three, the product was specific designed to meet the physiology, nutritional, and endearing demand of the consumer. Number four, the product was grown in solids is a, a long grace unite the standing list. Number five, the product is maintained throughout time. Number six, the product is still excited. Okay, this is all future. Future Joanna has not been. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm having problems with the internet, but I'm back. It's okay, no problem. All right, so that's it. Yes. Um, yes. I don't know if my my class. If you can, is to one, you can read the number three. Other time, I don't know. Okay. Uh, first of all, we, we was uh, doing a brainstorming about Coca-Cola, which is this uh, brand because we know something about this and we consume every day. Um, and every one of us uh, know this brand. Uh, first of all, um, we say that it was introduced for radio and, and, and TV. Um, and this brand uh, to compete with firms producing a variety of functional products uh, introduced bubble bus. Um, any of the drinks for this age uh, was used in bubble bus. Uh, since Coca-Cola introduced to the market. Uh, the product was specifically designed to meet the, the physiological, uh, nutritional and hydrating demands of the customers. That's why it's, it's one of the most uh, consumer brands in the world. And that's all, teacher. Very good, bravo, excellent job. Okay, very good. Okay, so you guys now have a better idea of these products. Um, their, their, their life cycle, right? The, um, some, that you, some of the ones that you, met, you presented, uh, they are still in the market. Other ones have already you know, died out, right? Because there was no demand. Right. So now that we have that idea in mind, uh, we're going to continue. You tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Can you see it? Yes. Yes, teacher. We can. Sit down. Okay. All right. So we're going to look at this um, two questions. Says, sir, would you agree that your company has fierce competitors? Do you understand the word fierce? Which one? No. No? No, nobody knows the word fierce. Me, no teacher. Okay. All right. Um, like strong. Okay, strong and um, uh, yeah. Let's just say like strong, strong. Okay. Top, top competitors. Okay. 
So would you agree that your company has fierce competitors? This is a question for everybody. Uh huh. Yes, um, I think that in the Coca Cola case, the competitor is um, Pepsi. There is beers also. Okay. All right. Okay, but okay. So that's Coca Cola. But what about in your company? Does your Which, company, your your the company that you work for, have I, I, fierce competitors? Uh, in my case, yes. Uh, in the company that that I work, uh, they have a lot of competition that has peers too. Okay. All right. What about the rest of you guys? Uh, in my case, teacher, I think uh, the company that I am working, huh? there is not have a, a competition, uh, a competitors. They don't have competitors. I think there is no maybe in the in the country because they produce energy okay okay so there's no competition there okay maybe kind of monopoly mm -hmm. yeah could be all right does competition affect businesses negatively you think yes. it affects negatively Mm -hmm. yes, no. In some cases, could be positive. No, it's uh, it's not negatively. No, okay. no, yes, yes. another company About sells uh, the same product with a better price. That's so decrease. I think. Okay. Yes. Okay. I, I I think teacher that that not affect negatively. Why? Because uh, the competition could be the company make an effort to, to improve the, the features of the product maybe or, mm -hmm. or, or improve the technology or some kind of things to, to be better. Yes. So it, it um... In, it um it it um it pushes you it pushes you to uh be better right yeah 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 absolutely yeah i agree okay all right very good so now we're going to be listening to the instructor so me read the conversation below and then we're gonna take turns practicing with the partner. So for the time being, I want you to close your microphones, everybody, because I'm going oh, yeah. to I'm going to be reading the conversation, and you, I need you guys to practice it, but only uh, by yourself, like in your in your home, so that only you can hear yourself. Okay. All right. So if we can please close all the microphones. Okay, here we go. The sales in the last two months. were growing really fast. But now. They're decreasing. You're right. Although it is no surprise, with this competition,
I agree. We must figure a solution to deal with market saturation. Many companies would prefer to withdraw the product, you know? However, we have invested a lot in this product. We'd rather relaunch the product than discontinue it. Okay? Questions about the meaning of words? You can write in the chat any words that you don't understand the meaning. Is that it? Okay. Oh, there's one more. That's it. Okay. Growing means um, comes from the verb grow right grow to to become big right to um so like a baby a baby grows right um so it becomes big um a baby becomes a child and then a child becomes a teenager and a teenager becomes an adult so we are growing we're becoming big okay. decreasing means to go down Okay, so it means literally going downwards. Okay. Rather means prefer. Prefer. Relaunch means to put in the market again. Okay, to put in the market again. And I just saw that somebody else put, although, although means like, um, it's like saying, even though, or like saying though, like it's a contrast word. So it's like saying, it is no surprise, however, with this com competition, however, or but, right? Or the, it's like, it's, it's a contrast, it's a contrast word, okay? All right, what I want you guys to do now is you're going to be practicing this conversation with a partner. Okay, so um, you get a chance to be, the first time you can be Rena, and then the second time you can be Julio. 
And what you're going to do is you after practicing this conversation, you're going to be answering these questions according to the conversation. Okay. All right. Ready? Yes. Okay, I'm going to put you into breakout rooms. Okay, here we go. Uh, Rocio, Norma, Hazel. Rocio, Norma, Hazel. Hi, hello. I'm here. Uh, what happened? You can you you cannot join. Yes. Yes. Okay. So you can go ahead and join. Okay, you can hear me, everyone. Um, you can't join then? Yes. Well, eh, no escuché exactamente cuál es el ejercicio acerca de la presentación de la conversation. Yes. Um, Hazel, no, no, no puede unirse al grupo? Hi, teacher. Hello. Um, I'm going to send you, Joanna, to, to group number eight, okay? I was with Emily. Oh. But my... One more time. Okay. okay. The phase in the last two months were growing really fast, but now they're decreasing. You're right. Arthur, it is no surprise with this competition. I just bring we must figure a solution to deal with market situation. Many companies will prefer to withdraw the product. You know. However, we have invested a lot in this product. We'd rather 
we launch the product and discontinue it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I start. The, sa the sales in the last two months were growing really fast, but now they decreasing. Um, you're right, Andrew. It is not surprised with the competition. I agree. We must figure a solution to deal with market saturation. Many companies would prefer to withdraw the product, you know. Don't oh, worry. We have invest, invested a lot, in, a lot in this product. We'd rather relaunch the product that is continuing. Okay. Now, this discuss the answer to the question based on the information from the conversation. Okay. Um, Number one, if a company withdraws a product from the market, not temporarily, they discontinue it? Hi. The company? No. No, it's continuing. They, they prefer relaunch. Relaunch. Pero ahí solo es de, de escoger en true es, o false. Ajá, de afirmar o rechazar, ¿verdad? Lo que hizo uh -huh. los, los adolescentes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces, en la primera dice, esa compañía, la compañía retira el producto del mercado. Ellos descontinuarán y por because they, um, they, they prefer for lunch or in a day in the last part of, I think. We mm -hmm. says, however, we have invested a lot in this product with weather launch the product than discontinued. Ellos prefieren relanzar el producto que descontinuarlo. Uh -huh. Y aquí dice, si la compañía retira un producto del mercado, ellos lo descontinuaría. Es false. I'm false. ¿Qué? Okay, the second, if sales decrease, they stop growing. They stop growing. Yeah, true. <laughs> because the sales decrease, obviously, stop. Growing. <laughs> if sales decrease, they stop growing. The sales in the last two months were growing. Really fast, but now they are decreasing. Mm. You are right. Bueno, pero el conversation is the. Uh, you guys finished or do you need more time? Uh, 
Only two no, minutes so, is in. Two minutes. Done. Okay. Thank you. Bueno, I say, I Rina. This is for the auction. In the conversion, in the conversation, no, no specific. No, but um, they are talking. Uh -huh. Sí, es cierto, porque es como que ya no va a estar en el mercado. Yes, this is true. Um, it's discontinued. But mm -hmm. it's a little confused because in the paragraph, um, it's not able about discontinued. The teacher is here. Hi, teacher. But in this concept, the number one for me is true. Can you have us with this? Sure. Yes. It's not here. Sorry, were, were you talking to me? Yes, I'm a little confused with the first uh, question or affirmation in the discuss. Because um, the question is... Not temporarily, they discontinue it? Yes, for me it's true because if, if you withdraw a product of the market, um, definitely um, they discontinue it. For me, it's true, but I don't know if um refer about the paragraph because um they don't talk about this continuing. They talk about relaunch the the product. It's a little confused for me. Uh, no, it says many companies would prefer to withdraw the product. You know, so they're just talking about what the meaning of withdrawal is. Um, yes, but um, many companies is in, in plural, not about um, their company. Yeah, but it just it, this just says if a company, so just any company, X company, withdraws a product from the market, they discontinue it. Is this true or false? It's, it's true. Okay. Then not in accord with the paragraph. Well, not it's. It's according to the information. In general. That, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you so much, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Um, the first thing is, is true, right? Um, if sales decrease, they stop growing. Um, uh, yes. What do you think? What do you think about the second? The number two? Yes. For me, it's true. Yes, because it's, it's self decrease, they stop growing. Yes. Okay. Rina's first option to solve the situation is to relaunch the product. This, this question. Is a call to the paragraph. Uh, yes, but uh, is for, for me. I true. think. I think. Uh -huh. I think the first option for her is relaunch their mm -hmm. product because yeah. mm -hmm, she invested a lot. Because Rina, Rina, saying. We waited the for lunch. The product and continued. Okay. Mm -hmm. The pairs are true for you. No, um, it's all. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, we finish. Okay. Thank you, Carla. Thank you so much. All right, so you guys finished? Yes, okay. you okay. we finished. I'll see you guys, uh, girls in the main room in a moment. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello, Joanna. We're going to bring everybody back, okay? Okay. Yes. Um, Zoom me sacó y, y me sacó de mi grupo en el que estaba. It's okay. No worries. Okay. Okay. All right, girls and guys, let's discuss these questions. After reading the conversation, let's see if we understand it. If a company withdraws a product from the market, not temporarily, they discontinue it. Is this true or is this false? True. It's true. Yes, it is true. Yes. Good. If sales decrease, they stop growing. True. 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 Yes, true. He's mm, Why? True. If a remember, um, he's free to go down. Yeah. And um, so decrease means that uh, instead of making bigger profit, it's going down. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because growing means to be big and decrease means to get small. So it's the opposite. So it's true. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Rena's first option to solve the situation is to relaunch the product. Yes, true. Cool. true. It's true. true. Good. Excellent. Now, in this conversation, you probably already noticed that we're using a lot of new words here. For example, we saw the word would prefer. Right? Would prefer. So the question is, what does it mean to say would prefer? Or uh, rather, what does that mean? Okay. Uh, well, I think. Yeah? In Spanish, I think would rather. Uh, try to explain to me in English. What do you think it means? Any ideas? Would prefer is to say that you like something, mm -hmm. or or an option that you want to to, to do or 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 think. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would prefer. Mm -hmm. Would prefer. And... Yes. Very good. So basically, would prefer means that you have options and you want one option more than the other option, right? That's what it means. So would prefer is pretty clear. Now, what about this one? Well, this is actually the same thing. It means would, ra would rather means would prefer. It's the same idea. So let's talk a little bit about that. Um, when you have another option. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so let's do, oops, sorry. Let's talk about would rather. We use would rather to express preference. 
preference. Okay. So the yes. first, we use would rather to express preference. Okay. Example. Would rather plus the phrase from the verb. So as many companies would rather withdraw the product you know. Okay. So notice we use would rather right here. Actually, um, let me. So these are the structure. Would rather. Okay. So if you notice. Um, we have many companies would rather, and then withdraw the product. Okay, so after would rather, we use the verb in the base form withdraw. Oops. Okay. We would rather relaunch the product than discontinue it. Again, we would rather. And then uh, the base form of the verb is relaunch. So we would, uh, we would rather relaunch the product than discontinue it. Now notice it doesn't matter what the subject is because Many companies is they, the companies they, and we use would rather. And with we, we also use would rather. So it's gonna be the same. It doesn't matter what the subject is. So it's gonna be would rather, okay? Okay. Sorry? No, no, it's okay. Okay, all right. Now, something else, is um, when we use uh, the apostrophe D rather plus the base form of the verb. It's exactly the same thing as would rather, it's just contracted. That's all you do. It's just, all we do is make the contraction with the subject and the apostrophe D, okay? So whenever you see this apostrophe D and rather, it means would rather. It's exactly the same thing. So they'd rather withdraw the product. So they'd rather, okay? And then we have withdraw is the base form of the verb. It's exactly the same thing. Or we could say we'd rather, we'd rather, and then the verb in the base form, which is relaunch. It's the same thing. So it's just, we just make it shorter, okay? So um, just for you guys to understand this a little bit better, um, so we can use I'd, sorry. I'd rather you'd, Rather. Okay, so that's. Or we can say he'd rather or she'd rather. Now, we really, we rarely say it'd rather because it finishes in a T sound, so it. So that's why it doesn't sound natural to make it contracted and say it, right? It doesn't sound natural. So we really don't use the it with this contraction. We can also use a weed, weed rather, or they'd rather, they'd rather. Okay, so that's how the contraction works. Okay, so th say this with me. I'd rather. I'd rather. Everybody? I'd rather. 
I, I, I rather. rather. I rather. I rather. Very good. Okay, excellent. You'd rather. You'd, you'd, rather. You'd, rather. you'd rather. You'd rather. He'd 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 rather. Good. She'd rather. She'd rather. She'd rather. We'd rather. We'd rather. They'd rather. They'd rather. Good. Excellent. Now, notice that it says here, use apostrophe D much rather for a stronger preference. So you, you could say, for example, they'd much rather withdraw the product, you know. They'd much rather. It's, so it's exactly the same thing. It's just that if you want to make more emphasis, that's how we would do it. Okay. So I'd rather. Okay. I'd much rather for the preference. Okay. This is for preference. Now, this form is more common in speaking more than writing. So you would not really hear very much, or you wouldn't really see it written more than you actually speak it. Now, um, so something went wrong with the art in the labels of the product. I'd much rather hire a different designer. Okay, so it's the same thing. Okay, I'd much rather, and the same, and uh, the verb is also has to be in the base form, like this one. Mm -hmm. Ahora bajarle fuego y ponerle la verdura. Okay, so green tortricas cannot com compete with the low prices of other chips. We'd much rather, so there you go, there's the other one. Much rather lower our prices. Um, the verb, the verb in the base form is lower. Right, and here are more examples, right? Um, so, I would rather cook than wash the dishes. So that means that you, you have a, a preference. Okay. Um, or, or make a contraction, he'd rather. Or we'd rather. In this case, it, it, we're making negative, not. We'd rather not. Okay, or we'd rather here, or I'd rather. And then the verb is always going to be in the base form, like cook, visit, go, stay, go. So I would rather cook than, a, than wash dishes. He'd rather visit London than Paris. We'd rather not go to the cinema tonight. We'd rather stay at home tonight. I'd rather go to the cinema on Tuesday. So does this make sense? Do we understand this or are there any questions? Is this clear for me, teacher? Yeah? It's clear, teacher. It's clear. Okay. Good. Teacher, mm -hmm. realmente yo no lo entendí en español que, que significa. Would rather. would rather means to prefer. I prefer. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. To have a preference. Okay. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're gonna stop sharing there. We're gonna stop right now sharing. I'm gonna be taking attendance. Give me a moment. Um, you can open up your microphone. Um, is so that when I mention your name, you can quickly say hi and, um, sorry, pre present, and then uh, we continue. Okay. All right. So, Annie, 
Present teacher. Good. Uh, and, and Ana Maria? Uh, present. Good. Carolina? Present. Emily? Present. Uh, Hazel? Present. Joanna? Present. Jorge? Present. Karina? Present. Carla? Present. Kevin Santiago? Linda? Present teacher. Marlene? Marlene? Present. Miguel? Miguel? Nelson? Nelson G? Present. Norma? Present teacher. Olga? Present teacher. Rosie. Present. Beatriz. Present. 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 Uh, Tatiana. Present teacher. Nelson. Nelson. Present. Omar. Present. And Jose Rodrigo. Present. Okay, guys. Um, so that's going to be all for today. Today I'm going to stay with um, Carolina, and that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Good okay. Good Good night. Night. Good night. Bye. 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 Good night. Thank you. I see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Teacher. Tengo una pregunta. Fíjese que ahora yo escribí para uh, para consultar dónde podíamos pedir los diplomas, pero me contestaron que la encargada de capacitaciones es la que los tiene. ¿Es usted o es alguien más? No, no soy yo. Porque eso les pregunté a dónde los podía solicitar y me dijeron, los entrega a su encargada de capacitación. Y yo me quedé, no sé quién es. Eh, y dije, no sé si será la teacher o... ¿A quién, a quién preguntó? Uh, pienso es el perfil de Jimmy. Ok, va. Entonces, va, es cuando le dice que es a la persona encargada, estamos hablando de la persona de su empresa que está encargada de las capacitaciones. No sé quién será esa. Porque de ahí, la, el, al terminar el módulo pasado, Karen dio un correo, pero nunca responde en ese correo. Mejor pregúntale a la, a la encargada de la capacitación. Ah, ok. Su Gracias. Ok. You're welcome, Marlene. Ok. Take care. Have, have a good night. Hola Carolina, ¿qué tal? Hello teacher. Hi. Hi. Ah, uh, uh, no entendí lo último, lo que acabamos de ver. Ah, uh, great, good writer y y. Good rather. Good rather, ajá, uh -huh, good rather. Y y el otro es el rather, algo así. Would prefer. Uh -huh. oh, okay. No entiendo cómo, okay. cómo funciona. Lo que significa? ¿Perdón? ¿Entiende lo que significa? Ah, es una preferencia, entiendo. Eh. Yes. Uh -huh. Yo preferiría. Ajá, yo preferiría. Uh -huh. Ok. Yeah. So, ah, entonces... ah, solo es como yo preferiría tal cosa. Ah, no es como quisiera, sino que preferir, vea. Ah, preferir. Ajá. Ah, ok. okay. So, oh. for example, many companies would rather withdraw the products you know. Muchos, muchas compañías preferían a retirar su, produ su producto. Mm -hmm. ¿Lo sabes? Mm -hmm. okay. Sí. ok, so, the structure for this is would rather. Estamos con esto, would rather, y es por eso que aquí es. Ahora, usted nota que esta, esta oración es la misma de esta. 
La única diferencia es que en vez de poner would rather, ponemos apóstrofe de rather. ¿Por qué? Porque el apóstrofe de es una contracción de would. Ah, ya. Mm, eso ¿Eh? es lo que no entendía. Ah, uh -huh. es solamente una contracción. Ah, es solo la contracción. Es, es no. como cuando ponemos... Um, eh, Dicen, dasen. Ajá. Uh -huh. o sea, oh, ah, entonces, I'm uh -huh. uh, a teacher. Entonces, I'm es una contracción de I am. Uh -huh. eh, solamente le quitamos la A y le ponemos un apóstrofe por, eh, para, para para ser más corto para ser más corto y indicar que estamos eh, cortándolo y entonces en este caso la apóstrofe D está indicando que le hemos acortado la palabra y le hemos quitado la W O U L uh -huh. ok ah eso es todo ok Hoy sí estoy clara. We launched the product and discontinued it. Nosotros preferíamos eh, relanzar el, el producto que descontinuarlo. Ajá, en vez de que, que descontinuarlo. Entonces mm -hmm. aquí lo mismo, solo que es would rather. With, with rather. With would rather. Would rather we launch the product and discontinue it. Ah, ok. Ya, es exactamente igual que eso, solo que would la escritura no. cambia. Ah, ok, no es la gran cosa. No es la gran cosa. No. No, no. Ah, ok. Mm, vaya, ok, hoy sí estoy clara. ¿Segura? Yeah, hoy sí. ¿Sí? Sí. Ok. Ok, y, y si quiere hacer como más énfasis, utilizamos I'd much rather. Ah, ok. Ahora sí, le vamos a hacer más énfasis. I'd much rather. Oops, okay. ok. Sí. ¿Alguna otra preguntita? No. No, no. Es, hoy sí me queda claro. ¿Sí? ¿Segura? Sí. sí. Ok. ¿Alguno? Entonces, ¿no hay ninguna otra pregunta de cualquier otra cosa? No, porque lo otro es... es... Eh, pues lo anterior eh, eh, sí lo he entendido ok, okay. entonces eh, creo usted que podríamos trabajar um, con estos ejercicios no está bastante sí, claro con lo del lo del 5 que es este a ordenar las oraciones uh -huh. sí okay. lo vamos a intentar <ríe> Sí, está, está bien, teacher. Perfect, ok. Bueno, okay. Entonces, Ana, eh, si no hay nada más con la con lo que yo le pueda ayudar. No, no, solamente eso, teacher. Ok, very good. Okay. Entonces, nos vemos mañana. Primero, Dios. Ok. Good night, teacher, good night. cuídese. Gracias, igual.